Okay, so uh, here's my mobile slaughter truck. It's a uh, 2004 Freightliner M2. It's got a cat motor in it. Um, it's a six speed Allison automatic. Um, 300,000 miles, I think it is. Anyway, good little truck. It's got a uh, Thermo King reefer unit on it. The, the reefer on this truck is, I think it's a T200 is the unit number, model number, but it's a smaller unit. It runs off of the uh, truck engine itself. It's got a compressor for that on the truck engine. Seat uh, folds up. I got my rifles and shells, DOT stuff, extra shirt and some towels underneath there. It has a uh, onboard diesel generator. Martin diesel generator that runs my electrical inside the uh, box for my saw and um, whatever else runs 110. And it also runs the uh, reefer unit on an electric standby. It's got a uh, lift gate on the back. I believe it's seven foot by eight foot. I think it's the dimensions. There's the uh, the boom pulley the cable. It's um, got a worn eight thousand pound winch, uh, but uh, this lift gate folds down, <clears throat> and it um, well, just let me show you. Okay, so the lift gate folds down like that, um, and it just. I got the idea from uh, the lady's name is uh, Natasha Hughes. I believe I'm saying that right. Over in New Zealand, she has a mobile kill truck, and she had a, a lift gate like this. And it it's a really good idea. I mean, if you got a place that's really nasty, muddy, and it just gives you a good, clean place to work. I just thought it was a good idea. I liked it, and I found the truck <clears throat> that had one on it. I got a uh, D ring welded. In the floor out right here on it to pull in uh be able to pull pig hides and whatnot um let's see got let me get inside here okay so the lift gate raises all the way up to the floor level which is pretty nice because you can go out if you need to you know hook on the rail or whatever um and this is the the way the boom is set up, it's welded it's like a gooseneck and then it comes inside. The winch is mounted on its own plate in the very back. And I got the wires run down through the floor into the, the batteries for the lift gate and the winch all works the same thing. Mine, don't mind the mess, I've been painting stuff. Um, but it, it's got two Big U structures back here at the back, and they're braced together. They're bolted through the floor into the frame of the box, and then the uh, the boom is bolted to it. Everything's bolted together, with the exception of these little rails we put on Saturday. Just to hang stuff. I uh, got the hooks and some single trees, some chains. Got me some new single trees coming. Got a water hose run. I just have. I turn the lights on. I got tote for some buckets and I got rags, duct tape, soap, some scales, stuff in here, blocks for shoring things up, a ladder. Drop cord, just 
strings. Who knows? You never do. You always need string. <laughs> but anyway, the rail comes all the way in and turns. And it's just right here on this front. I only the only part that's cooled of this truck is the front six seven feet. Like I said, that that unit is a small unit, and it will not cool the entire box of the truck down to forty degrees, which is what I usually run this thing at is forty degrees. Uh, water tank. Um, it's just cold water. I don't have a hot water heater right now, but it uh, filled up with water. I got an air leak. Fill it up with water and you plug it up. It runs off of the uh, truck air. Pressurize the water. So we got water. Pressurize water. And got some e track on the walls to hold everything. I usually take this strap and put it in front of the beef to keep them from swinging back and forth. And I put a, uh, I always put a C clamp, run them up pretty tight, and then put a C clamp so they don't roll. Got uh, plastic flaps, got them all tied up. Like I said, I've been painting and just trying to get stuff out of my way. Um, we got some lights. There's one in the cooler, one right there, and I got to replace that one. Uh, paint, yeah, I got paint everywhere. I'm a terrible painter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a dream come true. And I'll, I've only got to use it one time. In my last video, where we, my wife videoed for me, so it wasn't. She didn't get down there while we were skinning, but she got enough to put to post. But scrub brush. Um, but yeah, I've only got to use it three times. That day we killed three beef, and we don't do any more. We usually do about two to three at a time, whatever we can process in a weekend. We'll kill one weekend and then process in a week or two weeks. And, uh, just, it's, it's a full-time side job and uh, I'm, hopefully it'll turn into all the time, but we shall see. But if I get over these eye surgeries, I can get back at it and hopefully be wide open. Got any questions? Let me know. Thanks.